Hey guys, it's Young Mind here, back with another video. It's currently uh, half five in the morning almost, so I thought it's a perfect time to make a video on how to create a Minecraft server. Um, the first thing you're going to need to do is come down to the link in the description or just type this in if you want, because um, what you need to do is download the uh, Minecraft server files. Um, this is for Java edition of Minecraft, um, Bedrock is a different story. So we want to go ahead and download this and I'm just going to put it on the desktop and we need to create a folder for this. I've just called it Minecraft but uh, you can call it whatever you want. So we just need to wait for that to finish downloading and then put it in there. Then we want to go in here, click new and go to text document. We just want to call this start. Now, if you don't see this start.txt and uh, server.jar, if you don't see the extensions at the end, all you need to do is click on view and click on file name extensions. As you can see, as I tick through this, it reveals and hides them. This is important just because we're going to need to change these. So then we want to open up start and go back to that web page and copy in this. There we go and then paste that in there. So basically what this does is, um, I'll talk you through each of the commands in there. So this basically says it's a uh, Java. Um, this is how much RAM your server needs. So um, 1024 is one gigabyte, uh, 1024 megabytes in a gigabyte. Um, then there is a jar which says target a jar file. Um, and then there is our server name and then there is no GUI uh, which means no graphical user interface but as you can see our server isn't called um, Minecraft server 1.16.4.jar it's just called server so there's two ways you can do this you can either rename your server Minecraft 1.61 something something jar or you can just go and change this to server. Now also if you want to add more RAM, you would just go and type in um, the number here. Make it a, a, a multiple of 1024. So as you can see, I've done 2048, which is two gigabytes. Um, if you wanted to do three gigabytes, it would be Trying to do math at half five in the morning. 3,060 something. I don't know. Uh, uh, Google it or use the calculator. Um, but yeah. So we're just going to go ahead and save as. But we need to change the start to start.bat. This is a batch file, uh, which basically means when I click it, it'll execute. Um, so we're just going to save that. Then back in here, delete start.txt. Uh, we'll probably need to close it first to delete it. Um, and then just delete it and run start.bat. Now you might get an error the first time. Um, I might even get it here, I'm not sure. Yep, so it won't run because you need to open up this EULA and set it to true. Basically, um, what this says is, if we go here, we're basically accepting all these conditions. Um, now, feel free to read these if you want. Um, I probably recommend if you are setting up like a commercial server, um, so you're planning on playing with a lot of people that, yeah, you definitely read through this, but if you're just playing with your friends, um, you don't really need to worry about that. You're completely within the rules. So, set that's true. Make sure to save it and close it down. And then we're just going to go ahead and run start.bat again. Now, you should see here that we should get a couple more things loading up. And this is preparing the world. And preparing spawn area. So this is loading up our whole world here. So we'll just let that finish. Um, so say if this didn't work for you, um, none of this happened, what you would need to do is download Java. Um, that's probably what's wrong. 
um, it could be another issue, but I definitely recommend downloading Java first. So it's pretty simple, you just come to java.com, agree and start free download, and you just go through the download steps. You don't need to drag Java anywhere, you don't need to do anything. Just download it and then it'll work. So this is finished. So we just want to go ahead and shut down now. Uh, it's not shut down in Minecraft. What is it? It's close. I can't even remember. Maybe it's in help. If not, it will be fine to just close it. I only know um, shut down because I'm used to doing uh, unturned more. Is it slash stop? Yeah, slash stop. Okay, so it's slash stop for Minecraft. Right, so if that was our server, perfectly up and running. Um, but I'm gonna show you a couple of things you can change. So we want to edit server properties. So to do that, you right click, uh, open with, if I can see it. Uh, there should be open with, but for some reason I am not getting it. I think it's because I have notepad plus plus. Oh no, I'm blind, open with at the top. And then you wanna go to more apps. And then just scroll down until you see Notepad. And these are basically all the settings for your games. So you have Swarm Protection, Max Tick Time, uh, the port that you want to use. I recommend just leaving this at 25565. Um, now, I recommend just leaving these if you don't know what they mean. Just leave most of them the same. But there are some key ones, like uh, Game Mode. Difficulty, PvP, Hardcore, Max Players, um, Server Port, Allow Flight, View Distance, um, Level Seed if you care about that, um, and that's basically it. But you can play around with all these if you want. Um, but I'm just going to leave it the way it is for now. Then there are a couple of other things that you can change. So you can uh, have banned players and banned IPs. Um, again, this is more if you're running a commercial server because I doubt you'd be wanting to ban people if you're just playing with your friends. Um, but yeah, so that's fine. So we're just going to go ahead and start that. And then start Minecraft. So we're just going to open up the latest release. And I'm going to show you the multiple ways to join. If we load into Minecraft now. Yeah, there we go. So we would go to multiplayer and we go to add a server. Uh, oh, there we go. So we just type in tutorial server. Um, and server address. So if you're just wanting to connect to yourself, so you're running it on this PC and you want to play on this PC, you would just type in zero. Or you could type in localhost. So if you click done, you see we get ping back and we are able to join the server. So this is just for joining yourself. If you were joining a LAN server, so you're playing with maybe your brother who lives in the same house or you've got two PCs set up in the same house um, and this is running in the house, what you need is your IPv4 address. So what you want to do is type in here, CMD, and type in IP config. Now the one you're looking for here is the IPv4 address. So you just copy that one. Oh, if I can get it. And then uh, you would just add server, paste it in. IPv4. 
and you can see we get a ping back for that one as well. Now we have the last method, which if you're playing with friends online, how would they connect or how would you connect? What you need to do is get your online IPv4 address. So you can't do this by uh, typing in IP config. What you need to do, if I turn on my VPN quickly, I can show you. I'll just put it for Japan, I guess. And then we go, what is my IPv4 address? No, oh, can't spell today. And this is your public IP address. Now, I really recommend that you don't share this with anyone that you don't trust. Um, because it can be used for um, kind of malicious intent. That's why I turned on a VPN before showing you guys mine. Um, but yeah, so if you did want to um, play with people online, make sure you do know them and you trust them because you will be giving them your IPv4 address. Um, so yeah, but they would put that in um, like so here. So what was it? Sorry. Now, obviously, this won't get a ping back because we are not hosting the server, um, but they would just go like that. And it would come up here like these two, but obviously because we're not playing online with people, um, it's not going to do that. And you also would need to port forward. Um, I have videos on that as well. Um, so I will link you to that and then you can play with people online. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please smack that like button. Subscribe and all that juicy stuff. I probably could put up a chart about what percentage of people aren't subscribed. People seem to love that at the moment. But, um, yeah, if you enjoyed, subscribed. If you didn't, feel free not to. If you were just here for the tutorial, I understand. But anyway, guys, till next time, I'll see you soon.